Happy Tuesday my fellow strangers, this is Mrs. Strange, and on today's episode for Stranger Universe, I will talk about yet another interview for Stranger Things 5 with Gaten Matarazzo. Before we start, please like comment and subscribe to see more episodes from Stranger Universe. Turn on your notifications to never miss another episode again. Follow us on our social media platforms to stay updated with Mrs. Strange and the Stranger Universe family every day. And now, let us begin. Gaten Matarazzo was in an interview with the Direct discussing his role in Disney's Lego Star Wars Rebuild the Galaxy, where he voices the main character. He was asked about any plot details regarding Stranger Things Season 5 and anything going on with Dustin Henderson. And surprisingly enough, he revealed a lot more than I expected. Here's the clip. Uh, the plan for people seeing it is definitely, the plan is next year. That's the goal. And uh, there's always setbacks, there's always things that come into play uh, when making a season, especially one this huge. So there's no guarantees, but I think next year is a safe bet. It's a different vibe for sure, because obviously things are a lot different going into this season comparatively to past ones. We see the rifts open in throughout Hawkins. We see, we see at the end of four, Hawkins is in real disarray. And so we're starting this season in the aftermath of that, of the rest of the town, obviously now finally being well aware that some shit's going down. Sorry about my language. No, you're right. um, it's the same like vibe we know and love about this gang and getting on their adventures and and of course the ultimate goal of stopping all of this and, and preventing um, the upside down from infiltrating. But um, Dustin suffered a pretty serious loss at the end of four. He's still the guy we know and love, but there is a context of that trauma and that weight of loss that seems to carry on with him through the early process of the season. And uh, hopefully that's something that people like to see, see him grow through that arc and see him uh, start to deal with, with intense grief at a young age, which I think a lot of people, myself included, can really resonate with and understand what that confusion and that rage can really feel like because it is an enraging thing to have to deal with. Um, so I'm stoked for people to see that. So to summarize, it does seem like season 5 will briefly pick up right after season 4, showing us the aftermath of what we saw in that apocalyptic finale. Some fans would argue that the aftermath itself is what we see in the time jump to 1987. But from what I understand, Stranger Things 5 will start off like Avengers Endgame, picking up immediately after its predecessor, and then the time jump happens 15 or 20 minutes into the plot. I also can't wait to see how Eddie's death in season 4 affects Dustin in season Season 5, since all signs seem to be pointing at him being a new target for the Hawkins high school bullies, it makes me wonder if this is how we see hallucinations of Eddie haunting him throughout the storyline. I am glad Gaten Matarazzo shared more details that will allow us to theorize more and speculate. The 2025 release date is no surprise, but here's hoping that Stranger Things 5 comes out soon in the year. Overall, very intoxicating times, and that is all that we have for today. What are your thoughts on this newest interview for Stranger Things Season 5? Today's special shout-out is for Pallava Badgepay. To get a chance at becoming our next special Stranger Universe shout-out, type it down in the comments section below. Turn on your notifications to never miss another Stranger Universe episode like this one. Join us on our episode premieres to interact with Mrs. Strange and other members of the Stranger Universe family. Thank you all for watching. I am Mrs. Strange, and this is Stranger Universe. Over and out.